Hello everybody, and today I will be showing you what it would be like if I was a Pokemon gym leader. So, hmm, how to stop this? Um, <coughs> yeah, right, let's, I guess we'll just start with the region. Uh, the Galar region. The Galar region is one of my very favorite regions. So, yeah. Or Galar, either way, either way you pronounce it, I guess. Yeah. The location would be right in this den. What type of gym leader would I be, you ask? I'd be a dragon type gym leader. And I chose to have my spot here because it's in the Lake of Outrage, and Outrage is a dragon type move. So I just figured it'd be a perfect place to, for a, a dragon gym. And as I know, it's right outside Raihan's place, but. Me and him battled, I assume that my team's better. <laughs> Probably like a post-game gym leader, so he can keep his gym. Players, people can come battle me any time, like after beating the game. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll show you my team. All right, uh, my team, Hydreigon, Dragapult, Tyrantrum, Salamence, Haxorus, and Sandaconda. Oh, but Wakai, Sandaconda isn't isn't the dragon type Pokemon. Yeah, don't push up your nerve glasses and tell me that. I know, but Rhyhon has him. So, and plus, he's a he's one of the only ones that can Gigantamax, and he can learn dragon type moves. So, yeah, outrage. So he's a dragon type Pokemon, whether I say it or not. Whether it's true. Okay, so. Now for the move sets, Hydreigon level 74. I give him Outrage, Focus Blast, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. He has one special move and two physical. Although he can't really use his dark uh, typing, it's still pretty cool. Mm. Ah, here we go. Yeah. His attack and special attack are really high, they're almost identical, so that's why I gave him one special move. And then Dragapult, I gave Dragon Rush, Phantom Force, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. I just wanted to know a very wide uh, skill set. Attack and special attack. Attack is higher than special attack. Uh, he's to a physical special. So I just gave him use of it, well, both of those. Um, attack stats. And you can also use the dragon and ghost typing of his. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, Tyrantrum, level 77. Right. Um, I give him move Ancient Power because it has the chance to raise a user's stats. Uh, all, the, all of them. And Outrage because it's a dragon type. <laughs> and it's probably going to be the TR or TM I give out when they beat me. Earthquake because it's a very powerful ground type move and you can and that and it's part of his typing. Wait, is it no it's not. Maybe cover is And Iron Head in case we ever come across any fairy types that might be a threat. <laughs> and and ice types. Earthquake. Yeah that that would work against ice. Ground type moves work really work well with ice. They they they're they they are they are they are direct opposites, they Oppose each other, you know. Uh, Salamance, I gave Zen Headbutt, Air Slash, Flamethrower, Outrage, because I just wanted him to have a wide move set, and so he can use his Dragon Flying type. Haxorus, I gave Outrage, Earthquake, Crunch, and Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance, so we can raise his attack, uh, Outrage, because it's a Dragon. <laughs> Earthquake to handle Ice types, Crunch to handle. No, not fair types, it doesn't work. Uh, well, it's just a move that I saw and I wanted to give it to me. Finally, Sandaconda, Scorching Sands, Outrage, Iron Head, and Stone Edge. I think you can tell why I used Iron Head, Outrage, Stone Edge, and Scorching Sands. Yeah, you bet you could tell all of those. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're going to, like, my gym puzzle. So my gym will be inside of this max den. But, like, you know, if, you know how, like, a Dynamax beam will shoot out of it if there's a Pokemon in there? 
uh, and there's like red or a pink one and a, a red and pink one. Well, mine is gonna be like blue and orange. It, a blue and orange beam will shoot out of the Dynamax Den if you complete the game and come back. All you gotta do is like just hop in the den. I mean, I, I, I can't because there's nothing in there. My gym isn't real, by the way. I don't have any mods. I don't have any editing tools for this. So. We could just pretend, right? <laughs> so, anyways, in my gym puzzle, uh, you will fly on a Dragonite through hoops to get. Like, there's a timer um, that, that that starts from like two minutes. That's probably enough time. It increases as you go through the levels. The first level will be easy. You'll just have like ten hoops. Uh, 7 to 10 hoops. As you should be able to do that in 2 minutes. There, every 2 hoops, probably, I uh, will have like um, a hoop that increases your time that you have. So it, it, it'll either increase it by 5 or 10 seconds, depending on what it says in the middle of the hoop. And each level will get harder, but you get more time. If you miss a hoop, then you, you have to start over. So try not to miss any hoops. And you're flying on a dragon knight, so. You can stop, but only for like two seconds. So you can just adjust yourself. When you're stopped, you can move from side to side. That's pretty cool. And then once you complete all three, well, in between each level, there's a gym, one of my gym trainers waiting there to challenge you. And then once you beat all three levels and all three, well, all two, both of my gym trainers, then you can face me, the gym leader. Which, um, yeah, you can face me. Yeah. And I'll reward you with the scale badge, is what I was thinking. I haven't really, I don't really know what I'm gonna call it yet, but that's that's what it's gonna be, the scale badge. It'll probably just look like a dragon, a dragon scale. <laughs> well, anyway, so that is my uh, Pokemon gym. Hopefully you can come. Hopefully I get tools to make it reality. That probably won't happen. <laughs> it's much easier to do in other regions. Like, you know, Pokemon red and blue. Just, who's adding to us to remove some trees and stuff, but not, not this, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's my gym. But also I have some stuff I want to show you in this game too. I want to show you my regular team. And then it's my, ah. So here's my regular team. Giratina, Mewtwo, Zacian, Rayquaza, Charizard, and Inteleon. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, can you see that? I guess you can't. Okay. Never mind. This forget this anything. Uh, my legendaries box. You got Regiice, Registeel, Regirock, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Ho-Oh, Calyrex. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Pick me if I'm wrong. Urshifu, Reshiwa, Articuno, Landorus, Tafu Koko, Heatran, Stakatakataka, Regidrago, Dialga, Celestila, Celestila, I don't know, Yuxi, Raikou, Guzzlord, yeah, those are all my legendaries. I got a Venusaur, I got from a Dynamax Den, and a, and a Can Gigantamax. Let's see? <laughs> And I do have the exp expansion pass. <laughs> yeah, I got plenty of Pokemon that can drag into Max. And here's the Hall of Fame Pokemon that I've beat the champion. Eternatus, uh, Zukun, my nickname White Dog, <laughs> Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur. All all three of these can Gigantamax. And Eternatus has the Eternal Beam. So technically he can Eternamax. This is pretty much my Pokemon Sword game. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, just leave a like, subscribe, all this, that, all that, all that stuff. 
And yeah. Uh, hope you're having a good day. And um, uh, yeah. Bye.